Nine forecast. Our awesome October weather pattern continues today. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. You are looking live from downtown Charlottesville, showing us not a cloud in the sky as we look off to the east and northeast toward Pantops. A great day to have your lunch outside or evening dinner out there on the downtown mall. Barely a cloud out here, lots of sunshine, and temperatures have rebounded from the 40s to the 70s. Now with the warmer than average weather, our fall foliage is delayed by several weeks, two to three weeks now. Seeing some fall color out here, but it looks like if you wanted to see some great fall foliage, it's at peak, a little past peak across the highest of elevations over West Virginia. So hang out into areas of the Alleghenies and to the George Washington National Forest. And yeah, we're seeing some good color out that way. Now the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration just released their winter outlook for the 2021 2022 season and it looks like overall we're going to have a La Nina weather pattern. That means there's colder than average water temperatures in the equatorial region of the Pacific Ocean and that means a more vigorous polar or northern jet stream and that means for us across the, the mid-Atlantic region overall warmer than average and perhaps less snow than average. But we'll see about that as we go towards December, January and February, right? Right now it's definitely warmer than average already in the 70s. Our average high is in the upper 60s this time of the year. 74 currently in Charlottesville, 70 in Stanton. And as you can imagine, without a cloud in the sky, NBC 29's live Doppler radar is on the rain free side. No showers, no thunderstorms for the rest of the daylight hours. But there's a cold front developing over the Midwest, the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley. This system, as it moves eastbound, is going to run into some very dry air. So most, if not all of the storminess will stay along and west of the Appalachians. Our high res forecast model shows sunshine for the rest of your day. A few clouds begin to increase here at 6 p.m. Rain free showers and storms stay west. There could be a rogue shower chance towards the valley on towards 10 p.m. and midnight and a chance for a passing shower at 8 in the morning more towards Route 15 and especially east towards I-95. But even here it's going to be few and far between. It's a drier and a somewhat a cooler day going into Friday and also for the weekend dry Saturday. So great for high school and college ball and football as we go towards tomorrow and Saturday Sunday. We're dry rain showers arrive by later Monday, Tuesday, especially Wednesday, Thursday and next Friday. A daily chance for some rainfall around here from this today and tomorrow and uh, Saturday. Yeah, minimal rain chances, but look at this next week from Monday through next Friday, a half inch to two and a half inches of rain projected for next week. For today, though, highs near 80 in Central Virginia, mid 70s over the Shenandoah Valley sunshine, a southwest warm breeze tonight, a partly cloudy skies, a brief shower chance, mainly for the Shenandoah Valley. Tomorrow's forecast for mainly dry, partly sunny and a bit cooler. Highs more typical of October, mid 60s for Harrisonburg, St. Waynesboro, upper 60s. 60s, low 70s, east of the Blue Ridge over Charlottesville to Louisa. Seven day forecast. We're mainly dry as we go towards the weekend, upper 60s. The weather looks fine for Martha's Market over at Charlottesville's X Art Park in the 60s by day, 40s at night, low 70s on Sunday, and then off and on rain, Elizabeth, from Monday through a lot of next week. All right. Thank you so much.